Disasters happen. Pick the team that takes care of them all. Powered by offices in Wheeling, Morgantown, and Pittsburgh, Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration is ready to handle any size emergency at a moment's notice. We have the right people, knowledge, and equipment to respond 24 hours a day. I'm Bob Huggins. When disaster strikes your home or business, tell your insurance provider you prefer the restoration company the Mountaineers call. Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Bob Huggins has his own Mac attack, and that is Deuce McBride. He's tough, he's smart, he's a leader, and he's not afraid of making big plays. I would say in sports, almost everybody called me Deuce, and then outside of sports, people call me Miles. Family calls me Miles, except for my dad. I don't, I don't remember the last time my dad called me Miles, honestly. First, my brother's born, and he's Walter the third, so he called him Trey. And then I was born, I'm just the second child, so he called me Deuce, so it's Trey and Deuce, so he thought he was clever with that. Honestly, my mom's pretty competitive. I think she, she doesn't show it, you know, unless it's something where we're all into it together. If we're all into it, she wants to win, no matter what. Yeah, growing up with uh, two parents that play sports, it's like a real competitive household. I mean, my mom, she's she's rooting for her Buckeyes, and my dad, he, he obviously played at Xavier and, and played overseas, so everything had to do with sports, but they also taught us a lot of lessons through sports that apply to a lot of things in life. Uh, definitely, I remember the 2010 team. I remember they were huge. They were long and athletic. That team was really fun to watch. And then I kind of got away. I didn't I didn't know too much until Press Virginia started happening. And then as soon as I saw Press Virginia, I said I wanted to be a part of that. And, you know, my dad knew Hugs, and he, he knew he'd be the right coach for me and my style of play. I learned a lot from guys like Chase, Jermaine, and Logan, you know. Coming in as a freshman, I didn't want to, you know, say too much. I just wanted to listen as a first year player. I think they set me up with a lot of tools to be successful this year, you know, playing a lot more minutes, you know, handling the ball a lot more. It's a it's it's a great role for me and it's it's amazing that my uh, other teammates, you know, even if they're juniors and you know the seniors, they still trust me to, you know, help them to to show them what's going on and things like that. I would mostly say I'm I'm, I'm a laid back, you know, I I like to let people kind of try on their own and if they need help they can always come to me or if I see something I'm gonna I'm let them know and I also want to be able to take criticism as a leader you know nobody's perfect and I also want to be able to you know if somebody sees me do something wrong I want them to be able to come to me and say you know you could have done this or something like that. I want to leave a legacy that people really remember who I am for you know not just what I did on the court but what I did off the court how I treated people and, and things of that nature. With 10. Deuce starts to drive right side, takes it to the bucket, layup shot, up good! Six seconds to go, back comes Texas Tech. You know, if I need to score points, that's what I need to do. If I need to make plays and, and distribute the ball, uh, that's what I can do, or get a stop on defense, get a big rebound. It's, it's really just being whatever the team needs in that time. I think that's one of the things why we're, we've been successful this year is because we trust each other. You know, we, we want to help each other and we want to get to that ultimate goal of, of winning a championship. And I think you have to have trust to do that.